Hi there, I'd like to show you the cryo station by Montana Instruments. The system consists of four main parts, the compressor, the control unit, the cooling unit or cryostat, and the user interface unit. The cryostat is typically mounted on a lab bench, while the compressor and control electronics units may sit on the floor or other nearby shelves. These components are connected with electrical cables and gas or vacuum hoses. The system has one main 240 volt power cord. This powers all the units except the laptop, which runs off its standard DC wall adapter. Once the units are unpacked, you can attach the cables and be running in 15 minutes. In the front of the cooling unit is the samples chamber. By mounting this firmly to the table, it acts like other optical elements of your system and allows the system to achieve vibrations of less than 5 nanometers. As you can see, there are five optical access ports, which allow a great deal of flexibility in experiment setup. Since the system is not under vacuum, we can remove the cap. Inside, you can see the radiation shield, also with five optical ports. This combination of two enclosures with vacuum between insulates the unit from the ambient temperatures and allows the system to achieve temperature stability of less than 10 millikelvin. If we remove the outer window assembly and inner cap, we see the sample mount. You can now see the inner radiation shield better with its windows. The windows unscrew easily and can be replaced with ones with special coatings or other functions. We'll remove the inner shield now by removing the four hold down bolts. Inside, you see the sample mount. Note that this is set up with the sample at 45 degrees to the optical path. This would be for an experiment in reflection, with the incident beam and sensor at 90 degrees to each other. Note that this optical setup can be completely aligned with the inner and outer window assemblies removed. Then once the housing is reassembled, the experiment could be run at low temperatures. Let's remove the sample mount and see just how flexible the sample holder is. On the green circuit board, you can see the internal connectors for your experiment. These are connected to the user connector on the back panel of the unit. These views show how the mount can be configured for various applications. After aligning our optics for the experiment, let's put it all back together again and run the system. Now we're ready to run the system. This is the user interface program running on a small laptop computer. The main screen has several parts. In the upper left are control buttons for cool down, warm up, standby, and stop. Next to that is the button to set the target temperature. In the upper right, we see the display of sample platform temperature along with a measure of the stability. Below this is the graph where the temperatures of the sections may be plotted against time. The operating range of the system is from 350 to 3 degrees Kelvin. Let's set our target temperature to be 3.4 degrees, for example. Once we set the target temperature, press cool down. It's that simple. As the system runs, the graph shows the temperature of the various sections. See how we can turn on and off the plots for these sections. While the system is cooling down, let's look at the other screens of the user interface. On this screen, we can view and control other optional system parameters. This is the diagnostic screen, which allows us to isolate problems in the setup or operation. We'll come back in a little bit after the system has had a chance to cool down. As you can see from the graph, we've reached our target temperature, and the graph shows small variations. From the looks of this graph, we have achieved a stability of about 2 millikelvin. Let's put the system in standby so it will hold the temperature there. This keeps the sample at that temperature and reduces power consumption while the experiment proceeds. This is also handy for overnight operation, where the sample chamber can be held cool overnight so you don't have to wait for complete cool down in the morning. You can interface your system to your laboratory equipment via LabVIEW or TCP IP connection. This allows complete control and remote capture of the temperature and performance data. We hope you have enjoyed this tour of the cryo station. If you have more questions, contact our application engineer. At Montana Instruments, we make cold science simple.